As far as the effects go, there is my bass big muff, which gives me the fuzz part of my tone. It's a great unit, and uh, you don't have too much to operate, so uh, it makes achieving a tone less complicated than with an effects pedal with more options, which I like. I like it to be simple, and therefore it's a quicker way of achieving a nice tone. Over here is the Boss ODB3 uh, Bass Overdrive and its settings. It's uh, the most complicated part of the setup. And those are the settings that I generally use. The gain knob is broken off because I dropped the pedal once and uh, the gain knob bent so I tried to bend it back and it just snapped off. As far as I know the gain knob is turned all the way off and it seems to work. And then there's my Digitech Whammy and it has a variety of different uh, effects options but I'll only go through the two that I really use. I generally only use the octave uh, settings. Um, there are harmonic settings as well but I don't like using them because I can just play chords with the bass. Um, this octave setting that I have it on here, what it does is if the pedal is all the way in the uh, down position it creates a lower octave below your already normal sound so it combines the two and if it's all the way up it creates a higher octave above the normal sound that is already combined with as far as the amp goes these are the settings I have on it and it is a Ashdown Electric Blue 180 watt I think it's a 12 inch and uh, it uh, pretty well can shake my room I have the deep setting which is here turned on and to the right of that is the bright setting which is also on and to the right of that is the EQ which is obviously on and that's what the EQ is set at although generally there's more bass uh, set and sometimes more treble if I need it the octave which is right here I don't use anymore and I didn't really like it because it didn't track well when I did use it and that's that. With those settings that I just showed you on my jazz, I get this tone out of it. One thing to note that is that uh, since the Rick um, and the P bass have such hot pickups, like they're very loud, I generally uh, back off the sustain on the big muff and um, that helps compensate. So. Uh, with those settings, and I uh, leave everything else the same, I've also boosted the treble a bit as well. Um, with those settings, the Rick sounds like this.
the P bass sounds like this. Fretless jazz, I've just turned the sustain all the way back up on the big muff. Um, because as I said before, I turned it down to compensate for the hot pickups on the P bass and the rig. But since I'm back with the jazz, I've bumped it back up to where it normally would be. And that's what the fretless sounds like. I think most people are interested in the tone that I get out of uh, my earlier videos, uh, like Knights of Cydonia and Time is Running Out was another one. And that is just using this pedal with these settings and as far as I can tell or remember, these amp settings uh, on the EQ and it sounds like this However, if I was to redo that song, which I probably will, um, I would use the big muff as well. And use the same settings that I uh, showed you before. Because I like that tone uh, more than the one I uh, used to get. <laughs> 